the women's 100 meters breaststroke SB7 final. This should be an excellent battle for the medals. Not sure if anyone can challenge the great Jessica Long in the center lane. Rita Clausen from Norway goes in lane one. Sarah Meehan from Canada in two. Tess Rootcliffe, well, she may challenge for the medals there, qualified in third position. Liz Johnson was talking about Tess Rootcliffe and how she was in impressive form. But there is Jessica Long, looking mean as she looking goes mean to the final. Then Bravo may be good enough to uh, to test Jessica Long here, Paul. Jessica Long not on her absolute best through the heat. Look to be taking it easy. She's got so much power available. And in lane eight, Cone of the USA. I think it's going to be it's going to be too much for Cone to to be, to mess with uh, the centre lanes. Jessica Long really has been in a class of her own. Generates all of her power from her arms. As does Dembrava. Very similar disabilities. Jessica Long, Lisa Dembrava, almost identical actually. And different styles employed at the start, though. Take your marks. Lisa Dembrava all the way up on that backboard. Jessica Long, a bit of a track start with her knees that she has. And uh, uh, Jessica Long's style paid off by a metre in the start. And you can see, as the breaststroke, in, in breaststroke, in able-bodied breaststroke, as the feet come together, they work together like the blades of a propeller, and one blade basically balances out the other and generates that power to enable the hands to shoot forward. Now, we can't see under the water here, but you wouldn't think that Jessica Long had any any leg missing at all. She manages to generate so much power just with her upper legs into the turn here and still very good off the wall despite the fact she hasn't got lower legs, feet, ankles, all of that stuff that helps generate the power into the push, but she's so strong in her upper body. There you can see as the hands whip forward, she almost, the momentum of shoving those hands forward pulls her, pulls her through and into the dive section of the breaststroke and she even manages to generate a bit of glide despite the fact she hasn't got those propeller feet to push her forward. And here she comes into the last 15. She is being pressured by Lisa Dembrava from the Netherlands. A great swim from the Netherlands swimmer here, but she's not going to catch the great Jessica Long here. It's not going to be a world record time, but it is going to be another world title for Jessica Long of the USA. 132.46, the championship record for Long. A real close contest for third there. Dembrava taking the silver for the Netherlands. And Oksana Krul getting in ahead of Tesh Rootcliffe just by 0.2 of a second, 0.3 of a second the difference. But Jessica Long and Lisa Dembrava at the front of the field. I just thought for a second, Giles, that Lisa Dembrava was making some ground on Jessica Long, but it wasn't enough. And the great USA swimmer adds to her amazing tally of World Championship medals. Yeah, you can see on her face that, uh, well, there's a bit of a smile there, but the time only one one hundredth of a second quicker than she went in Toronto earlier this year. She's looking for more at this meet, and so far it isn't coming. Lost a lot of motivation for the sport. Originally born in Siberia and adopted, grew up in the USA. Said she had a lot of anger to work out and worked that out in the pool. Jessica Long takes the world title and a championship record. Lisa Dembrava, the silver for the Netherlands. Oksana Krul, the bronze for Ukraine.